Hello, most amazing people. This is Joseph with another amazing video for you. If you like Western wear and cowboy boots and you're of that bold persuasion that actually wears them and sports them and wears them and makes them your own, I have got a beautiful pair of Cayman Belly boots made by Star, S-T-A-R, just like the sun. And you can still buy these boots, but they're rare. And I say rare, not that they're not available, but rare because no one has these. No one buys these. Everybody's gone for Los Altos or, or Luke Casey or Dan Post. But guys, these are where you want to spend your money. Now, you can get these from a company out of El Paso, Texas called Tim's, T-I-M apostrophe S, boots.com. These are $827, but guys, with the quality of these boots, any other manufacturer, like if you tried to find a nice pair of these, maybe from Blackjack Boots, they're also sold by Tim's Boots, you might be able to find a higher, uh, same quality, but at a much higher price. And these boots, chocolate brown, and look at the hand tooling, just like a saddle. Too bad that all gets covered up because I do not wear my cowboy boots tucked in. I That's your preference if you want to do it, but not for me. But you have that beautiful hand braided cord in the middle there, right here going up then you have all of this hand tooling that's where your 827 bucks is going and again too bad that it's not going to show but it is gorgeous and the quality of this boot it is buttery smooth and soft beautiful caiman beautiful chocolate brown calf lined now i don't know if these boots are made out of Leon, Mexico. I'm thinking they might be. And then they are shipped out to New Jersey. And that's where the distributor is, out of New Jersey. And then uh, Tim's Boots is one of the brokers. And you can get these in chocolate brown, just like these, or black. But to me, the black just looks plain. All of this hand tooling doesn't show up as nice. Again, you're not going to show it off, so maybe you don't need it. But this is a one-piece skin. No seams going on there. Single stitched welt. Look how nice that is. Snip toe. That's how all of my boots are, snip toes. That's how I like to wear my cowboy boots. I don't like the round toe. I, maybe a J toe would be the only one I would go with other than the snip toe. And these are super comfortable. This is size 12D and they fit true to form. They fit true to size. And then here's your bottom lemonwood pegs, brass nails, metal shaft, metal shank in there, in that area right there. Goodyear welt. And then there's that beautiful. Now the quality of these boots, I'm going to give these an A++++. I bought a pair of Los Altos boots recently. Um, Cayman Belly like these. But in the Honey Brown, good quality. I would give them a B+. These, just the way they feel when I pick them up. The way the skin feels. Now I have reviews on all of my exotic skin boots on my YouTube channel, Five and Videos by JWB. And I have all of these boots on feet as well. With some choices for your Western wear. Which are amazing because no one, as you know, hardly anyone, there's a few of us that are doing high quality HD videos, 4K videos to show off their Western wear and their cowboy boots. And I love cowboy boots. Cowboy boots are a bold statement. When you're a bold person, if you wear them, in a good way. 
And I like mine with jeans or dockers with a beautiful Western shirt. And then I did a review on all of my turquoise. I'm just going to give you a quick look here. But you can uh, see that review on my channel as well. And a lot of this was handmade just for me. Let's show off the belt. And there's that beautiful chocolate brown. Now, I, when I bought the boots from Tim's Boots, I believe he went over to Cowtown, which is another boot maker. I'm not really big on their boots, but they are a nice leather maker, and they did a great job on this belt. And the awesome thing about this belt, it's a one-piece skin, not pieced together. I bought a Los Altos belt, honey belt. I'll show it to you real quick right there to go with my honey brown boots. And the thing I didn't care for for the Los Altos is there's no snaps to get your Western belt on. It is screws right there. And I haven't unscrewed it to see how it fits. And it's not a one piece skin, it's pieced together. See that where the seams are? Now the quality is pretty good. Again, I'll give it maybe a B plus, but on the belt, I'm gonna give them a C average um this belt the way it looks the quality of it and on there is a handmade one of a kind belt buckle turquoise black bear claw and that is ivory from a walrus tusk that ivory in the middle the polar bear scrimshawed from a alaskan eskimo bought by a guy who was in the army and he was probably 20 years old. He's in his eighties now, upper eighties. And he made this belt many years ago. So no issues with the ivory. But anyway, when I bought the boots from Tim's boots, 827 bucks, I wanted a nice belt to go with it. Beautiful calf line. So he took this belt over to the folks at Cowtown, and they made this belt for me. One piece skin. I can't even remember how much I paid. I want to say maybe like 150, 180, but I paid 150 bucks for that honey belt. And I paid 150 for this belt right around that area. And this belt, this belt is of quality, quality. You can see it there, guys. The boots, the belt. And I guess that's why these boots cost 827 bucks. And the Honey came in boots. I have those on my channel as well. Those sell for $400. So there's the difference there. Not hating on the Los Altos. They were the last ones I bought. I have three pair of star boots all featured on my channel. Python, belly cut, and back cut. And then these boots right here. And then again, guys, you can see that beautiful stitching and hand tooled. And even up here, guys, hand braided, right up here, all hand braided, right there. And then give you a close up of all the, the tooling there. Let's see if I can get it. And all of that beautiful hand-tooled leather. Look at that, guys. Kind of a different brown to set off the dark brown. So you got a medium brown to set off that chocolate brown. How beautiful, guys. I mean, I'm humbly showing these to you. I'm just happy I was able to get these because to me, 800 bucks, that's a lot of money. I work in ministry work, so... I had to really save up for these, but my life is in such a way better place these days that I was able to get these. The last eight years of my life in ministry work have been amazing, amazing. So doesn't that, I just want to show you guys how beautiful these are and hand tooled all there. And then the beautiful belt showing off those different things and then go back to this angle 
so you can kind of see a little bit more of a view. But yeah, guys, really happy to pick these up. And then... To clean these boots, condition them. It is so easy, guys. I'm going to show you how to do it. First of all, you want to pick yourself up if you have these exotic skin boots, snake skin, caiman, alligator, uh, teju lizard, um, eel skin, all leather boots. This is all you need, this one thing. You don't need the, con the cleaner. This look at conditions, cleans, polishes, and protects. This is all you need unless maybe you're working outside. And then if you use these boots as work boots, oh my goodness, guys. Um, but this is what you do. You just take it and you put some in your hand. You just squirt it from the top in your hand. Rub both hands together and just hand rub in on your boots all up in here. Let it sit for a little bit. Rub them good. Even do your belt. Take your buckle off. Do your belt. See, I did these just before the video. Look how beautiful that shine is. And I would take these out and um, wear them just like this after I polish them up. You don't even need uh, polish. Bic makes a polish. But I wouldn't recommend the polish. I'd just recommend doing this before you go out. Even let this sit for as, as many as five minutes to a few hours to a day. And it's going to look the same like this shined up really nice. And um, rub it all in real good. Okay, rub it in all up in here, up into the calf line in here. And then I take a nice, thick, soft, white cotton sock. And then just after you let it sit for about rubbing it in for about five, seven minutes, let it sit for a few minutes. And then I take the, the nice soft sock, roll it up, and I just use them for my boots and just rub all of the excess off. And this is what it looks like. Guys, you can get your boots shine, clean, protected. This took me like less than 10 minutes to do everything. And then you get, and then just leave it like that. And this will keep your skins from drying out. And that's what you want to do. You don't want your skins to dry out. You want them to stay nice and soft and supple. See how nice and soft that is. And nice and soft here. Just butter. And then up here, really soft. Just supple. I mean, guys, this is one high-quality pair of boots. The beautiful belt. I'll show you it a little closer. How nice one piece skin, not pieced together. That's the difference with these pair of boots. That's what you pay for. That's where your money goes. To me, I would put these up with alligator belly. And if you were going to buy these alligator belly, you'd be looking at a $5,000 pair of boots. Look them up. I'm not making those numbers up. But look how just... That looks to me like alligator right there. That's why I paid up for these because I know how much alligator goes for. And the Cayman, you can get at a better price. I prefer Cayman. Some people like the alligator because they think it looks smoother. But I'll take this Cayman all day long, not just because it's more reasonable, but I think it looks more like a skin. The alligator almost looks like a a fake leather because it's so, I don't know, it's just so smooth. It's like just pure leather. Don't get me wrong, beautiful. But I like some of these little marks you get from the Cayman. That's just me, guys. Guys, I hope you enjoyed my video, my review. Please check out my other videos on my channel and you will see these boots on feet review one of the best in the business, fine videos by JWB. My channel's not just about cowboy boots. We have several interests on my channel. I have a lot of interests, so they're on there. Guys, thanks for watching. Again, I always appreciate it. Thank you.